Hi second graders, guess what we're working on today? Habitat, that's right, the natural home of an animal or insect. And you should have already chosen your insect yesterday on Pebble Go. And then you should have sent your teacher your two sources, one of them being Pebble Go, the other one could be the book, an extra book on Pebble Go, or one of the pages from my Bugs book, or a flashcard from my set of flashcards. All right, and today we are going to start taking notes on Habitat. We have to have at least three to five, that means three, four, or five, and you can always have more, but you have to have at least three facts in your notes on your insect. So let me show you my notes that I did on Habitat for the morning cloak butterfly. I have to get them out of my envelope where I keep everything safe. What are you using to keep your things safe? I hope you figured that out for sure. All right, so here are my notes on Habitat. I read about the morning cloak butterfly and I found out they live in Minnesota, also in what's called Eurasia, which is Europe and the Far East, East Asia. In North America, they like these kinds of trees. They also like to live in the woods and parks and suburbs. They live in so something new that I learned, riparia area. I think I said that right. That's um, along the banks of rivers. R means river here. And they live where host plants grow. So the plants that they like for food, that's where they live. So they like to eat things from willows, poplars, elm, the leaves from those trees. So they live near those. Older caterpillars, before they have opened up to become butterflies, will sometimes wander more on plants that they don't even eat. So those are things about where they live. Now, if I read this paragraph about grasshoppers, when it comes to jumping, the grasshopper is a champion. Is that about their habitat? Nope. Its two hind legs have powerful muscles and they are much longer than its other legs. Is that about habitat? Nope. You're going to need that one when you do the description. A one inch long grasshopper can leap 20 inches. Is that about habitat? Nope. Grasshoppers eat plants and live everywhere except at the North and South Poles. Did you hear anything about habitat there? Yes, I did too. That they live everywhere except at the North and South Poles. So on my paper where I'm taking my notes, right here, I would write everywhere do I have to be super duper neat no I don't have to be super neat because I just have to be able to read this to write my sentences later on North Pole and South S stands for South so I can just write a short way of writing it it's not a complete sentence it's just enough information for me to remember so that I can make that into a sentence of my own later on, okay? So from this sentence, grasshoppers eat plants and live everywhere except at the North and South Poles. This, were, this was the note I took, everywhere but North Pole and South Pole. Let's look at this. This is on the Firefly, Firefly flashcard. Try to say firefly flashcard three times fast. Can you do it? Firefly flashcard, firefly flashcard. That's kind of hard. 
All right, on the back of the flash card for Firefly, it says Habitat. Some live in moist places under debris. Have you ever seen the word debris? It looks like debris, doesn't it? But it's debris on the ground. Others beneath bark and decaying vegetation. What should I write? What are the important words from that um, little paragraph that I need? Some? Nah. Nah live no because we know we're talking about habitat in is not important moist yes moist places should we do that moist places under debris on the ground how do you think we could write that in a quicker way did you say under debris I think those are important words on ground okay so you know that it's not under deb debris in a tree trunk or something like that somewhere else you just know now that it's on the ground okay what else did it say um, others beneath bark and decaying vegetation all right, so we can say under debris on ground. We can say um, or over here because look right here. Sorry, I'm going back and forth. Beneath really means under, doesn't it? So we can just keep going with under debris on ground or bark because our card said beneath bark and decaying vegetation. So we can go under debris or ground or bark or decaying. You know what another word for vegetation would be? Plants. I think that would be an easier word for you to use. All right, so those are the kinds of things you're looking for when you are researching habitat. So now you need to go to Pebble Go or, and your other source that you have and write at least three facts. You can have more than that if you want, but you must have at least three facts. Okay? All right. Have fun finding out about your insect.